Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here to practice chair yoga together. My name is Kaz. Today, we'll be focusing on our moving our body, especially the time like this we tend to coop up in our house and not moving our body so much. And that lead us to feel a little bit more depressed or anxiety and then lead us to this vicious cycle. So let's get up and then move our body today. Having your feet grounded to the floor, rolling the shoulders down. And I'd like to start with pranayama, the breathing technique. It's called a three-part breathing. So first, place your hands onto your belly and the chest. Starting breathing deep into the belly, so don't be shy to really expand your belly. Maybe three seconds there, and then move your breath up to the heart and filling your lungs. So as you exhale, you're going to start from the lungs, emptying the lungs first, moving slow, and your heart, and the last one, emptying your belly. You might feel a little contraction to the belly. So let's just repeat that. You can close your eyes, inhaling to the belly first, two, three, and to the midline, to the heart, two, three, filling the lungs all the way, two, three, and exhale, emptying your lungs and the heart and emptying your belly. You can go fast or you can go slow. As you divide into three parts when you breathe, really allows you to take it slow helping you to calm your mind and your body, helps you to relax furthermore. Don't forget to sit up nice and tall. So you can do each three seconds, belly and the heart and the chest, or it could be just two seconds or even four seconds if you feel like you can go a little bit longer. Just uh, feel this energy is coming up, upwards from the belly to the heart to your chest. And then feel the energy go down as you exhale, moving down, all the way down to your belly. And at your last exhale, go ahead and open your eyes, relax your hands. Welcome back. All right, let's start from taking our cat cow here. Having your uh, back a little bit moved forward so that you are creating space between your back and the back of the chair. Your feet are grounded. Maybe you can widen up a little bit. Let's sit up straight, inhale, lengthen the spine. The crown is reaching tall towards the sky. And then as you exhale, moving your heart back, tucking your tailbone under, chin down for our cat to feel the back skin stretching. Inhale, let's move your chest forward and your shoulders moving back, arching your back here for our cat, excuse me, cow. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale to feel the openness to your chest. Chin slightly up. Exhale, feel the contraction to your belly. Shoulder blades moving away from each other. And bringing awareness to the shoulders here as well. The shoulders are moving a lot here actually. As you move your chest forward, shoulder moves back. And as you move your chest back, shoulders moving forward. And the pelvis as well, big movement here. Tucking a tailbone under, pelvic is tilting forward. And then as you inhale, move your pelvis back. Mm -hmm. 
at your last exhale let's come back to the neutral spine you can sit back nicely to the chair again if you wish let's give a sky a high five so reaching up reaching up and alternate your hands reaching up reaching up inhale exhale down inhale to lift your opposite arm exhale inhale to reach up feel the side body stretching on our next inhale lifting your left hand up you can touch the chair with the opposite hand reach up reach up and then as you exhale lean to the hand that's on the chair you can look up if you wish or to the side or down let's do it to the other side inhale to lift your opposite arm up touching the chair with your left hand exhale leaning keeping the balance and inhale look up or look down and the hand is still reaching up diagonally and let's come back up releasing the hands all right turning your torso your chest so left hand excuse me right hand is gonna touch the back of the chair opposite hand is gonna touch the opposite knee inhale lift the crown exhale look into your right shoulder looking at the back of your chair even when you're twisting you still want to sit up tall and go ahead and inhale face the center to the other side touch the back of the chair with your left hand right hand is gonna touch your left knee inhale lifting through the crown exhale twist looking over your right shoulder excuse me your left shoulder and inhale to face the center hands back on your sides great job let's come to our eagle pose crossing your left leg over to the right just crossing your thighs and then make sure your both sit bones are touching the chair lifting the heart now bring your right elbow in front and left elbow is gonna come down and either touch your shoulders together or back of your hands touch or have your palms together lifting your elbows inhale chin up and then exhale maybe you can bring your elbow down keeping the balance feel the back skin stretching inhale to lift your elbows up and exhale inhale lifting the heart looking up and exhale down on our next inhale let's unwind your arms and the legs lifting the heart arms reaching to the side and up exhale put the energy back to the heart center let's do it on the other side right knee on top of your left and this time having your left arm in front and then wrap it around with the opposite arm so hugging your shoulders or back of your hands together or palms together okay inhale lengthen the spine lifting the elbows gaze are lifted and then exhale gaze down chin down elbows down inhale big stretch to the front side of your body and then exhale looking down steady breath here inhale looking up lifting the elbows and exhale looking down on our next inhale let's unwind your arms and the legs big inhale here stretching your arms spreading your wings and exhale let's bring up prayer hands back to the heart great job now we're gonna come to our widen up our feet taking our sun salutation here inhale to lift your arms over the head look up exhale let's bring the elbows to the cactus arms leaning forward strong quads strong your strong core here back is straight 
half lift and then exhale touch your knees slide your hands all the way down dropping the head forward fold inhale hands your on your knees half lift here keeping your back still nice and straight exhale let's fold again inhale to lift your left arm up looking at the sky if you can nice stretch and twist exhale let's bring the hand down inhale to lift your right arm spreading your wings and exhale both hands down inhale to touch your knees round the spine slowly come up vertebrae by vertebrae as you reach the top let's lift your arms over the head exhale let's bring that energy back to the heart let's do it two more times inhale go ahead and really spread your wings looking up and exhale leaning forward with the chest elbows are bent by your shoulders half lift here exhale touch the knees go ahead and go all the way down dropping the head inhale to lift your heart touching your knees half lift here back is straight exhale fold again inhale to lift your left arm nice twist here exhale hand down inhale to lift the right arm up try to really reach for the sky and exhale both hands down without touching your knees can you come up rounding the spine slowly lifting your heart lifting the head let's reach for the sky with both arms inhale exhale bring your hands to the prayer hand to your heart one last time here we go inhale and exhale arms in cactus leaning forward strong quads here exhale let's slide your hands all the way down drop the head inhale half lift exhale fold inhale to lift your left arm up and exhale empty your lungs both hands down inhale deep right arm up and exhale release let's rise up without touching your knees if you can strong core lifting yourself all the way up arms over the head inhale and exhale let's bring your hands down with gratitude great job let's come to a, a forward fold here so I want you to really be able to relax as you fold so as you bringing yourself looking down having your limbs and the chest close to each other you'll be able to really feel more uh, intuitive connecting to your inner inner self so let's go ahead and slide your hands all the way down and here just go ahead and relax your shoulders relax the neck relaxing your forehead you can bring your gaze side to side shaking your head or bring your chin up and down back and forth to say yes 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 to the relaxation completely relaxing your spine including the neck Telling yourself there is nothing to be worried about at this moment. Just you and your breath. Take two more deep breaths. On your next inhale, hands gonna be at your knees, round the spine, slowly lift up. Make it super slow here. You don't wanna move suddenly here. And the last one, last one will be your head to rise up. Great job, everybody. Let's face to your left, spreading your knees. Coming to our warrior one. 
back knee is gonna be either extended or keep it li little bit uh, bent here. Toes gonna point slightly out, making 45 degree angle. Both hip bones are facing completely to the side. Make sure both feet are grounded here. Sitting onto one hip with the chair, on your chair. Once you feel nice um, steadiness here, lifting the arms over the head. Inhale to really lift your chest, open up your chest here. Exhale, shoulder blades down. Inhale, maybe you can lift your gaze a little bit. Exhale, empty your lung and your belly. Inhale, and then touch the back of the chair with your left hand. As you exhale, lean into the back of your chair, side body stretching, energizing. And make sure you're not collapsing towards the floor. You're actually lifting the heart here. And come back to center, hands together to the heart. Great job. All right, let's come to the other side. So moving slow, that's the key here. Trying to really enjoy this moment, even when you're just shifting from one pose to another, becoming even more mindful with your body. Okay, so extending the back knee or maybe a little bit bent here, it's completely up to you. Toes gonna point out slightly. Both hip bones are facing forward, nice and square. Arms gonna reach up. Inhale to elongate the spine. And then exhale, bring your shoulder blades down. Inhale, slightly looking up. Exhale, emptying the lungs. Inhale, touching the back of your chair with the right hand. Exhale, let's lean towards the back of your chair. Again, I want you to lift your heart towards the sky inviting in more positive energy into you. And let's come out, inhale, and hands together to the heart. Whew, with lots of gratitude. Facing back to the center, bringing more movement to our body now. So you can have your feet in hip width distance. I want you to lift your left knee up to your chest and try to squeeze it in towards the chest as much as you can. Here you're gonna round the spine, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. You can look down a little bit. And then as you inhale, dropping the foot, lifting your arms, opening up the chest. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lift your other knee. Go ahead and squeeze it in, round the spine, making it yourself nice and tiny. And then inhale, stretching it out. Opening up, expanding here. So let's repeat, exhale, your left knee, feel the contraction, and then inhale, feel the expansion, exhale, making yourself tiny, inhale, making yourself nice and big, exhale, and inhale. Exhale, squeezing the knee towards the chest. Lots of self-love here. Inhale, nice and big here. And exhale, let's bring your hands back to the heart. Phew, great job. All right, from here we're gonna stand up. Let's come to the behind of your chair. Hands on it. Let's have your feet walking back, walking back. Coming to our first downward facing dog. So bringing your heads down between your arms. Make sure your all fingers, toes are facing completely forward towards the chair. Keeping your feet in hip width distance. Inhale to elongate the spine. Exhale, feel the openness to your armpit area. Sternum goes down towards the floor. Inhale deep. And exhale, let go of any tension that you might be holding on to. As you repeat your deep 
inhalation and exhalation. You can also think about what is preventing you from feeling completely relaxed. What is causing you to feel anxiety? Is there something you can do about it in your life to create more positive energy flow into your mind and your body? On your next inhale, let's slowly lift your heart, lift your head, walking your feet forward, moving slow, coming to a standing position. Great job. Let's have your hand by your side. Inhale to lift your shoulders up and move them back and down as you exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Two more times here. Inhale, shoulder moves forward and up and exhale. <sighs> One more time, deep inhale and deep exhale. <sighs> All right, let's take our warrior one, moving your left foot all the way back. Just like we did sitting down, both hip bones facing forward, bending this front knee. Make sure the knee is not passing the toe, just right above your ankle here. You can keep your hands on the back of the chair, or if you're feeling nice and stable, lifting one arm up. If you're feeling even more secure and nice in here, maybe you can lift both of your arms here. If you're feeling wobbly, go ahead and place the front foot more to the side, more to the right, lifting the heart, gaze up, inhale, exhale, maybe you can sink down to the front knee a little bit, bending the front knee here, inhale, and exhale, hands down to the chair. Let's bring our movement here. Go ahead and bring your arms up over the head, inhale to extend the, uh, extend the front knee. As you exhale, let's bend your knee and maybe you can bring your arms out to the side in cactus. Inhale and exhale. So you can keep touching the chair with one hand, it's completely up to you. Inhale and exhale, sinking down. One more time, inhale. Exhale as you sink down, chest is open, stable breath. And inhale, reach up, hands to your chair. Let's bend the front knee, stepping forward with the left foot. Let's shake it off. Moving on to the other side. Right foot is gonna step all the way back. Bending the front knee, hip square. And you can always place the front foot more to the side for stability. So hopefully you can drop the back heel down, but if it's not available to you, you can keep your back heel lifted. It's completely according to your body structure. Maybe you can lift your one arm up as you feel nice and stable. Maybe you can lift both, both arms up, but you don't have to though. Inhale, lifting your chest. Exhale. Inhale and exhale now you're gonna move your body here inhale let's extend the front knee exhale bending the elbows to the side opening up the chest inhale and then exhale feel the shoulder blades moving behind you inhale back is still nice and straight exhale inhale to reach up one last time, exhale, sinking down, dropping the hip as much as you can. And then inhale, reach up, touch the chair, bending the front knee, and let's step forward with the right foot. Let's shake it off, great job. Now go ahead and come to the side. So you have one hand touching the back of the chair, coming to our tree pose here. Let's separate your right toes so that you can really grab the floor. And then your left knee is gonna turn out to the side, coming to the tiptoe, you can stay here. If you are up for a challenge, more balancing pose, you can have your foot touching the calf muscle. 
if you want, you can raise the foot even more. Avoid the knee. Maybe you can bring the foot by your thigh. So your knees out to the side, but still keeping your both hip bones facing forward. Let's roll the shoulders down, chest is open. You can place one hand to the heart if you wish. If you're feeling up for a challenge, try let go of the chair and then have both of your hands touching in front of your heart. Finding one spot to stare at. Your breath is going to help you. If you want to challenge furthermore, which is to lift your arms up. This is the final pose of the tree. Inhale deep. Exhale, feeling the groundness to your right foot. Inhale deep. And exhale, let's lower your hands down, touching the chair, releasing the foot, moving slow. And let's shake it off. Working on the other side. You can uh, turn around to have other hand touching the chair if you wish. It's up to you. So separating your all your left toes here. Right knee is going to turn out tippy toe to the ground or to the calf muscle or to your thigh. So find your own tree here. You don't have to copy what I'm doing. It's completely up to you. Make sure both hip bones facing forward. Only the knees turning out to the side and to your heart or maybe both hands to the heart. You don't have to though and then maybe lifting the arms. So I recommend you to practice this pose uh, right by the wall. So even if you feel like you're gonna fall, your wall is gonna be there to catch you. Again, finding one spot to stare at. Inhale, reaching your arms up. Exhale, you can bring your shoulder blades down, feeling the openness to your chest and your shoulders, armpit area. Inhale deep. And exhale, let's release down, Phew. and dropping your feet slowly, shaking it off. Great job, everybody. Now, let's come to the wall. I'm going to shift the camera to the side so that you can see me better. So facing your wall here, having your hands in a shoulder width distance, your feet in hip width distance, you should be able to touch the wall like this. And then inhale, lengthen the spine. We're going to have a push up here. Exhale, bending the elbows down, making your face kind of close to the wall. And then inhale to extend the arm. If this is way too easy for you, go ahead and step back a little bit. Maybe the tip of your finger can touch the wall here. Inhale. And as you exhale, lean to the wall, bending the elbows down, keeping your back nice and straight. Inhale to extend. So let's keep going with the, your own breath. Exhaling back is straight from the heels to the top of your head, extending the arms as you inhale. So you can always adjust how much uh, body weight you're going to bring it to this exercise. The farther away from the wall you are, the more uh, workout you get. So exhale, leaning forward, inhale, coming back up. If you'd like to add more movement to your legs here, th this is what you can do. As you exhale to bend the elbows, you can lift one leg up to the side. Inhale to step back down. Exhale to lift your other knee out to the side. And then step back down as you inhale. So you can try your version of your push-up. You might be just only doing with your arms. You might be incorporating with the legs movement. It's really important to keep the muscle in your body. So you can try this out maybe just once a day or once every other day. It's good to move your body. And you feel good too after your workout. Let's do two more times. Exhale. And inhale, come back up. Great job. Let's come to your seat. 
Coming down to your comfortable chair, comfortable seat. Roll the shoulders down, getting ready for our most important pose, Shavasana. Your feet are grounded. You can close your eyes here. You can do the normal breathing or you can come back to this three-part breathing if you wish. It's up to you. The point is to try to relax completely and then lower your heart rate slowing down with your breath and feeling completely at peace you can also imagine what is your life would look like what you would look like when you have this completely peace in your mind everyday life each single moment what would change and enjoy your meditation and enjoy your shavasana Slowly bringing your awareness back to your breath, back to your body, back in your room. Moving your hands, your fingertips and your toes slowly, gradually. You can also rotate your wrist and the ankles. Also, you can turn your head side to side, looking to your right, looking to your left. And let's go ahead and reach your hands over your head. Inhale big, big inhale here. And exhale, put the energy back to the heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have a comment or any question or request for the next video, please let me know. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Namaste.